the GMC Sierra SLT with the X31 package. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Huge thanks to Royal Automotives here in Denver for letting me spend some time with this beautiful truck today to review to you guys. So what about the spec and tech? Well, this comes with a 5.3 liter V8 putting out 355 horsepower and 388 pound feet of torque connected to a new 10 speed automatic. And if you want one of these, the base price comes in at $56,000. And that's enough of the spec and tech for now. Let's jump in and talk about this design. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna have a look at this, the beautiful GMC Sierra. And this comes with the X31 package, more on that in a second. So the SLT trim, which this is, it does come with a bunch of chrome on it, like a lot of chrome everywhere. So GMC wanted to keep one of the trim levels to have this more classic feel to it with the chrome on it. And for those people who like chrome, I think it's still a very beautiful looking truck since the major facelift that was definitely needed in 2022. But that was not just for the exterior. I think the major facelift happened in the interior. We're gonna have a look at that in just a second. So what we're gonna do in this video, talk about this design. Of course, we're gonna have a look at the front end, let you know what I think about this new front end and all the details that we have here. Look at the side and then of course, have a look at the rear end as well. Starting with the front end design of the GMC Sierra, we have this massive grill, but all of this is actually functional. There's no fake vent here. We also have functional air vents, very small ones right here at the side. It's a hole. It goes straight through the side of the bumper. Down here, we have some tow hooks and being the X31 package, you also have skid plates underneath. I do like the big GMC lettering that we have in the front end, but what I'm most excited about with this facelift is just look how beautiful the, the headlights is now. We have this typical C-shape and what they did from the previous pre-facelift or pre, uh, previous generation, which looked a little messy in this area. You had the C going this and then you had a light down here, a little too complex. What they did here, they framed it in a very nice way by having this beautiful chamfer going all the way around and then up on the other side, creating this nice framing for the entire exterior front end. And you also have this LED lights and you have Sierra written in the side of the, uh, of the headlights. A small little detail, again, that I think adds a little bit more effort to the design and putting in more details like that makes it feel a little more upscale. Now, if I could change one detail on the front end, it would be the same thing that I think could be done to the Nissan uh, Titan as well. That is to remove this piece because you see this line up here, up over the headlights, I wanna cut this and have this be hood. So have this piece up here be white or whatever body color it is on, on the truck. I think that would create a nice starting point for all the graphics happening underneath it. Down below, we do have some fog lights. You can barely see them, but they're located right here at the very bottom corner of the front end. Overall, really good redesign from the GMC designers for the 2022 GMC. I think they make a fantastic job updating this uh, truck. As always, the best way to see the proportions of a vehicle is to look at it from a side view. And I really like what's going on here. This is probably the, uh, the view where you can see the least changes from the previous model of Sierra before they changed the design of it. But I do like that we have a very sharp shoulder line going here. And look at how it dips in this area and coming back down below. So we have some sort of line flow, even in a truck, and that's not easy to do. Since we have the X31 package, it comes with more of a uh, semi-off-road tire. You also have this pretty cool design for the 20-inch wheels, a design that almost doesn't suit a truck, but at the same time, I like that they did something a little more stylish. And down below, we have a running board that's attached. That's also part of the SLT package. And up here, we have the brag badge, which says 5.3 liter V8. This comes on every single Sierra, but if you have the four cylinder, it's blacked out. So it's like nobody wants to let other people know that they're driving a four cylinder. You have chrome on the side mirrors as well. Chrome pretty much everywhere on this truck. Chrome down here on the running board and chrome door handles as well. Now, personally, I prefer having a super sharp shoulder that stretches 
across the entire length of the truck instead of having the ones that we have in the Tundra, which looks a little bit more industrial when you have the, uh, the shoulder line being cut and kind of follow the fender line. Here we have one nice line and we also have this upswing. Of course, chrome trim around the greenhouse, SLT trim, chrome everywhere. We have this upswing in the greenhouse, creating a bit of a dynamic movement to this design and trying to get some dynamic feeling into the proportions of a truck. And all the way back here, you can see that we also have another brag badge saying X31, and this is the package that you have on this specific truck. Coming around to the back end of the Sierra SLT with the X31 package, if there's one specific detail that would make me want to buy the X31 package, it would be that we get dual exhaust on the, with this specific package. Otherwise, you can't barely see the exhaust. It's all covered up here, but these exhausts are not my favorite style of exhaust. I think they look maybe a little cheap having this rectangular shape, and it doesn't help that they're also chrome tip. But other than that, we have a big chrome bumper. You have this super complex tailgate that folds in a hundred different ways. I can't imagine the headaches that the engineers and GMC went through to get this to work. And then you have the backup camera up there with the Chrome Sierra logo up here and you have the SLT down at the bottom. Let's talk about the taillight design. What I like about this is that it kind of brings in the, the headlight design, but this feels like it's they just shrunk or scaled it in this way. So we still have the C shape in a, in a beautiful, I think this is a beautiful taillight, but it's just shrunken down because we can't stick it. We could stick it into the tailgate, but that's gonna create a lot more engineering and a lot more difficult to produce and probably raise the prices a little bit. That's why trucks always cut, usually cut the taillight right where the tailgate ends. But overall design of the taillight, I think it looks good and it has a con connection to the front end design as well. So we are inside the 2022 GMC Sierra SLT. And I gotta say, this uh, facelift that they did, I, uh, honestly, I can't believe that they managed to have the previous interior in production up until 2021. This goes for the Chevy Silverado as well. It just looked like an interior that came from the mid 90s or something like that and just stuck around all until up until uh, 2022 uh, 2021 but what we have here we have a nicely integrated i'm surprised as how how well uh, integrated this infotainment screen is this is 13.4 inches we have a 12 inch beautiful high resolution gauge cluster right here in front of the driver you have the paddles for the shifters you have a bunch of physical buttons for your hill descent control traction control you have the tailgate and you have auto start on off i'm going to turn that off because i I, that's one of the features I can't stand. It's auto turn off when you're in red light. And you also have the, uh, the buttons and everything for the climate control and the radio. Two USB ports right here. You probably have a bunch more somewhere else. Wireless charging and you have heated and cooled seats, which is fantastic. One interesting compartment we can put some, some small stuff is that you have an opening right behind the screen. It's not really deep, but I guess for pens or something like that, you can store that up here. And we have a beautiful, nice housing for the gauge cluster. That makes me happy. We do have some chrome here. We do have a bit of a chrome trim going around the gauge cluster, but I actually think it looks pretty classy. All right, guys, jumping in to the rear seat. This is not gonna be a problem at all. As you know, I'm 6'1", plenty of leg room here. We have, we don't have any um, sunroofs in here. You can see the indents for where they're supposed to be, two of them, but we don't have it in this specific model. But headroom is fine, leg room is fine. No problem fitting three adults in here. I also quickly want to show you the door and just look how massive <laughs> this storage uh, uh, place is here. You can have super tall bo bottles if you want that. You can put whatever you want in here because you have all this height where you can fill this door up. And you also have a massive Bose speaker covering the entire front end of the door. All righty guys, we're setting off in the 2022 uh, Sierra 1500 SLT trim. What I like about this trim is it feels like it's maybe the best value when it comes to the entire 1500 lineup. The only thing I don't like about it is, I'm sure you know already, I don't like all the chrome on it. I don't know if you can get this in a blacked out version, but if that's possible, I would definitely do that. So what we have under the hood is a 5.3 liter beastly V8 with 355 horses and 388 pound-feet of torque 
connected to a new 10-speed automatic. Super smooth ride. And since this has the X31 package, that means that you get a little bit more tilted towards the off-road vibe than the comfort vibe. It's still very comfortable, but you get off-road tires, you get the Rancho suspension, you get the dual exhaust in the back, which I love. I think that that by itself just adds <laughs> the value of the package when it comes to aesthetics of the car. But I think it's a cool idea to keep this classy look on the exterior, to have at least one trim that still has that old vibe with a bunch of chrome everywhere. It just looks cool. As I said, when we talked about the interior, I can't believe they had the old interior in production up until 2021, both for the GMC Sierra and I think even more so the Silverado, because that interior definitely looked like it came from 1996 and somehow survived up until today, which is just insane. And that's one of the reasons why I would, why I, why I did not consider a Silverado when I was uh, shopping for a truck and instead went for the Ram Rebel. But this interior, this looks fantastic because I like the gauges, looks like normal, almost analog gauges. We have the tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, everything is digital. It just looks nice and crisp and a huge upgrade from uh, what, they, uh, what they had before this. Turning radius, pretty much what you expect for a full-size truck. Not the smallest, but it doesn't feel uh, difficult to navigate in a small parking lot like this. Alrighty guys, let's see what this 5.3 liter V8 has in store when you floor it. It's not the fastest truck, but it's very smooth and comfortable with a 10-speed automatic. Definitely more uh, angle towards comfort, which is totally fine. I think that's what the SLT trim go f goes for uh, in general. So the kind of power delivery feels like it's suited for this specific trim. And that's my review of the Sierra SLT. Thanks again to Royal Automotives here in Denver for letting me review their truck today. Go check out this truck and their entire inventory at royalautomotives.com. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.